everybody. All right, so I got the quarry to establish its boundary. I just need to know, it doesn't tell you how to power it or where the items come from. Does it matter, or is it pretty automated? If I put a test rack next to it with the power, is it just automatically going to get power? Um, I think I think I always have to put the test rack on top. Let me go look at this one just to make sure. Um, let me look Baseball. at our ones we, we normally use just to make sure. But I think they put the oh you know what I always do I put a chest on top just kind of as a buffer and then I I pump it out of there into the tesseract I always put the tesseract behind it so it's given power. So you do put a chest on. Top. I do put a chest on top, but yeah the items come out the top of it for sure. But yeah I normally put a chest on top. So I can go like that then that's space power. And then I always put a like out of the chest I put one pipe into the tesseract sending items and I filter those for whatever we're looking for and then I put a trash can beside it sending items too and I filter that for where we want to trash. So you're probably gonna want to trash like netherrack and stuff like that. Do you only use one tesseract then? Yeah. Yeah yeah one tesseract to send oh. items and one So the um quarry tesseract does power and Yeah. Yeah if oh, you want well, I would send I it there if I was you. Be. Um yeah. and then we can oh. we can work out what we need to do with what. We can set up some um some new caches to hold stuff or whatever. Whatever we're getting from there. And okay, how we yeah. want to process them, all that stuff. So it's now... Dur oh my god. So... Mm, I'm, so you don't have the Tesseract directly behind the quarry then? I do. It's well, that's weird because I put the Tesseract directly behind the quarry and it is just sending blocks. Like, I don't think the chest buffer will matter because it's sending blocks out the back of it too. Oh. How do you know it's sending it, blocks? Because I hit right click and it keeps saying it's scanned all these blocks. It was stopped. Oh, no, no. It'll do a complete scan before it starts mining. Oh, oh. Really? Yeah. Because yeah, it, I told it to. I told it to. Whoops. When I first started it, it said it scanned one and stopped because I thought there was like a block stuck in his buffer and at the time I didn't know it was Oh, no, you're items. right. It, it is sending blocks now. It just now sends some tainted soil over. But so I guess the question is, if I put a chest on top and directly into the tesseract, isn't it going to send it from both sides, like half from no, the top, it won't. half out of the back? It won't. At least it's never has before for me, you know. Because we've never had this okay. problem. So I just uh, put the chest on top, and things are definitely going into the chest. All right, I'll tell you if it's coming here still. Pretty fast, they're going into the chest. So maybe the chest just takes precedence or something. Yeah, maybe. Well, is it still getting items? It is. I wonder if that's because that was an option at one point, or I wonder if items are still just coming through. That's the other thing. I mean, I'm going to let it sit and run without the, uh, because right, because right now, <laughs> I'm so confused to think about this. I got to come back anyway, because I need to get a... See, the uh, reason why I don't think that's the case is because go on <laughs> i'm talking like captain kirk now uh, the reason why i don't think that's the case where the hell did this guy come from um a zombie just attacked me jeff i was under under siege um the reason i don't think it's case is because we i was filtering items like making hell? sure stone what? went a certain way and all that and otherwise we would have been getting stone on this end yeah it just ended i think there was just stuff still coming through yeah i'm not getting okay. tainted soil or anything here anymore uh interesting yeah that's just, that was just weird to me yeah, that's that's interesting. So that means so that means that the chest on top fills up, it will then start sending out again probably. I don't know if it will or not. I honestly don't know. I think no. In fact, I know it won't because I've had that happen before where, where I wasn't filtering stuff I needed to be, and so it filled up, and it just stopped working. Interesting. So what you're going to need to do though is uh, come back here and yeah, I just I just came back there because I need okay. to make a trash can. Um. Yeah, well, yeah, you need to make the trash can for that. But also, we need to make another row right through here. Um, where are you at? Let me show you what I'm talking about. I, I just went down the stairs. Okay, hold on. Let me get my jetpack. I took it off to charge it. Let's not done charging. All right, come to the second floor here where our, our processing center is up. Is that? And what you're going to want to do is basically recreate this setup here, how I've got all these caches for all the different items that you're going to want to process. Mm -hmm. But with the but with the nether items, stuff or and, the nether items, and yeah. then basically what you could do is do it right through here, um, basically on the back side of this. 
here, so we can have caches. Oh, and then just right connect the here. pipes through and everything, and it'll be yeah. Um, but you want to probably what you want to do is make a cache of caches um, to take with you to the Nether, and then sort the items in the Nether so you already have the item in the cache and the cache locked for that item. So like Nether gold ore in one, Nether. Um, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. <clears throat> But but otherwise, these will, these will only need like normal, like small sized caches in theory. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because we're gonna process it right away, just like we do with yeah. uh, the other stuff. And that'll be good too, because I'm gonna be getting the same stuff when I get this laser going. Um, so it, you already have that started, where we have it a uh, home for it to go. So yeah, this once is... it has a home, <laughs> everything in its home. Um, oh yeah, we're already up to 130,000 more essence just from that short period of time I cut this off. So yeah, we, I think we're fine on essence forever. So, yeah, where's our trash? I need to use the trash can. Okay, I don't even remember the. Deal. Where did our trash can go? It's right I outside. The, uh, the the diamond thing. But it's not. No, it totally is. I was just using it just a second ago. Did you take it with you? No. Because it's not here anymore. The trash can? Yeah. Am I blind? It's right there. I'm standing on it now. Oh, <laughs> I am blind. I was looking <laughs> directly next to it, not on the ground. Like, I had to avert my gaze like a half a millimeter, dude. Your poor gaze. Goodbye, another brick. I just got rid of so much stuff that most people would be like, why'd you do that? Because we're going to have a shit ton blowing in momentarily. Uh, TN. Oops. And wood. I need woods. Okay. I've got my pink slime block, finally. Oh my goodness, what a mess that was. Where's our wood cache? Is it upstairs? Do we have a wood cache? Oh, we're full oh, of wood, wait, actually. It's, yeah, it's uh, it's outside. All the survivalist generators. I was, now it's funny playing multiple different my, modded things. I get confused. Right. Like, what do I use? And how do I do this thing? And this, especially whenever there's 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 different options too available in the crack pack to do yeah. things that maybe more efficient or whatever. We have so much wood and so much charcoal. How much is in here? Six hundred. Oh my god! I forgot that these stupid caches don't stack. Yeah, you need to make a cache yeah. of caches. Yeah. Well, it's just even making a numerous of them is difficult. There we go. Not really. I guess it wasn't that difficult. <laughs> it was so daunting. So hard. And then trash can. Trash? Why is there three different trash cans? One's for fluid. Oh, and one's fluid. One's, one's for something. energy? Let me just dump my extra energy. <laughs> I'm so tired of all this energy. Can it please go away? <laughs> Why do I need to? Do you have cobblestone on you? The. I got five. Uh, oh, wait. There's some in this chest, too. Let's that, that'll work. Five. Uh, yeah, because like the only access I have to any type of stone is normal stone. <laughs> really, I should make a second trash can here and filter a bunch of stuff out of I mean, this I, I can make one right now. Yeah, make me a second you. one. You don't mind. I mean to do this for a while. And boom, two trash cans. Let me, uh. That was, I gave you both. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. Thank you. Okay, so now I got a cache of caches. I need to get all those things locked out there. I guarantee that little chest I put on there is full already. Yeah, for sure. Trash can. And that's not even using any upgrades to it. Yeah, yeah. What I would do... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. So many bouncy. Mm, you should do... I guess there's no need for the silk touch one there. I was going to say use the silk touch, but I guess you don't need to do that in the nether. There's nothing coming out. It's just ore, right? Uh, 
yes. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. It's, it's coming out as just or, right? I guess that's the way I should have said that. Now people are gonna be so mad at me because I have absolutely no idea where I put this thing. Whoa, why are you guys so mad? Oh, no. Whoa. Okay. I guess maybe when it does feel... You know, I don't really know how any of this works, Jeff. I'm going to be honest with you. So it's, uh, it is dumping through? Yeah, we're getting Tainted again. Soul over here again. Okay, I mean, I can turn it off and just by putting... Uh, moving the thing back, the Tesseract back, and actually connecting it with just a energy duct. I mean, that's pretty easy. I cannot believe I don't know where... So you made this thing and you don't know where it's actually at? Is that what I'm yeah, understanding? Yeah, in, in the ceiling. Um, uh, I, mar I marked it sure you did. with three pieces of cobblestone. Oh, perfect. And it's on the ceiling somewhere. I thought it was right back here. I'm not going to watch my video footage to see where I went, but I, I went this direction from the nether portal. So it's around here somewhere. So wait, here's the nether portal. Hmm. What is a way... Yes. There is where, where there's a will, they say. There where there's a whip as well. Really? I never heard that version of the story. It's like so you know the um, you know the whole the hobbit and you know the Lord of the Rings and stuff. The when I was a little kid there was the cartoon version of it, the cartoon Oh god, movies. that one fucked me up. Uh, yeah, it fucked me up pretty bad, too, but my grandparents, for some reason, had it, and we always loved watching it when we were at my grandparents' house, and then we'd have nightmares about it, but it was, uh, one of the songs in there, I, I don't know why I remember this as a kid, but where there's a whip, whoosh, there's a way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now that you're saying that, I do remember. Oh, I found it. I was the right direction. I just was a couple blocks over too far. Speaking of which, since it's here, though, let's make this a little more pronounced. There. What's MBT? So what's 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 MBT? Yeah, MBT is data tags. Right. I mean, is, that, is that the answer you're looking for? Ignore MBT. Use metadata. Ignore metadata. There's some way I can set this to ignore and to metadata. Yeah, I want it to. I want it to take out. Um. I want to take out the the bows, regardless if they have enchants on them or whatever. What is that that comes after the? So it's like the bows item ID is two sixty one, and then <gasps> oh oh I know I'm good I'm good. It's not really that big of a deal, but I was digging the tesseract so I could grab, so I could move it back one block, and I I dug straight down and it fell straight through the floor. Oh, it is the MBT. It is the MBT. Okay. So, metadata. Well, eh, just ignore all the things and fucking kill everything. Thank you. <laughs> the quarry. So now I've just dipped it backwards one block. So I can connect it with a flux duct. Don't tell me I don't have any flux ducts. Oh, there we go. Whew. You have no flux ducts. Now I've connected it with a flux duct, so it should be getting energy out. Except that hooking the ender quarry up to a flux duct apparently doesn't give it power? Does power have to go into a specific side of the ender quarry? You should you shouldn't have to give it power with the flux duct. You should just have your tesseract wrap against it. No, but remember the tesseract wrap against it's the problem why it's sending when the chest filled up. Oh well, yeah, but the chest should never fill up after you get oh, set there up. Oh, there we go. There but we go. I mean, yeah, that's that's fine what you're doing. Uh, it's be it's because the chest was full is why. I see. So now I'm making I'm just making sure that the chest will not fill up. And then I can put the trash can right on top of the Tesseract. I don't think we'll ever need arrows. I guess I can't put the trash can right there. This is not going to be nearly as pretty of a setup. I need it to be beautiful, Jeff. 
it will be beautiful to me. I have a different standard of beauty. I look more at the internal beauty of a tester X system. Whoa, okay, apparently I'm dumping everything now into the, uh, that's a blacklist, uh, whitelist. I'm dumping all netherrack out, unless you want to keep netherrack. No, I don't think we need to keep netherrack. Do you think we need to keep tainted soil for anything? Let's see what it's used for. Do I have any more? I already dumped it all. Shit. Uh, <laughs> tainted, soil, tainted soil can make slime soil. It can also make tainted soil covers. <laughs> that's it. And that seems to be it. Okay. Unless there's a different recipe that's not showing me. No, I think. You oh, and it. it can make soul sand. Oh, no. Let it go. In fact, I bet we have some tainted soil here just from... No, we don't. Never mind. I think we probably had a little bit from the uh, the, the stuff we get from the, the sludge boilers. But I was wrong. All right. Wait, wait. This thing... So, go on. I guess I'm confused. How do you have this thing set up so that the trash can gets some of the stuff and then the chest gets the other stuff? So what I do is uh, you have the chest on the top, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And um, then from the chest, you have one pipe item pipe going out into the Tesseract. And you have a whitelist on the servo on that. And in the whitelist, you put the stuff you want. So, like, the different ores oh. or whatever. Oh, okay. I was whitelisting the stuff I wanted to trash, going out to the trash. Do that, too. I do both of those. And then I have, and another, then... So I have another pipe going to the trash can. I whitelist the things I want. Actually, yeah, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I actually, I, I'm sorry. I have that. I'm, what I'm saying to you is backwards. I have, because you, cause you can't whitelist everything you want to send out. So I whitelist into the trash can everything I want to trash. Right. And then I blacklist that coming out of the other, which is kind oh, of redundant. So you, do, you do, you do, do redundant. That was where I was trying to figure out how to not make this redundant, but it is going to be redundant, is mm -hmm. what you're saying. Because mm -hmm. you, yeah, you need two servos and two item pipes. One going in the trash can and one going into the other thing, basically. Okay. But yeah, the redundancy was the part that I was like, uh, I'm going to end up being redundant with having to set this up. Yeah, I think light. you have to be though, because otherwise, the stuff will just get accidentally get sent out. You know. Like, if you, right. don't, if you don't blacklist was, that's it. Concerned. Yeah. That's what I was concerned with. And now my inventory is too goddamn full to mess with making all these, uh... Why? Why explodey? <laughs> Why explodey? <laughs> what is exploding in here? Whenever I'm in the nether, I just hear random explosions all the time. I bet, since you don't have a silk touch upgrade on that... When it's, it's mining, angry? yeah, I think you need to have the silk touch on it. We have one already. Let me just go grab it for you. I don't know if that's true or not, but it might be. I mean, it's possible. I mean, it is mining it, right? It is mining it, yeah. I, I, I mean, guess. I don't actually know how it works. But I think it's mining it. Because if you don't have the silk touch on... Oh we already yeah. got cobalt. Hell yes. Yeah, I think you have to have the silk touch on that. The more I think about this. Oh, you know what? I can just send this thing... Huh, I can make these caches and then just send them through when they're already unlocked into the chests and they'll be on your side. I don't need to carry them all. Oh, that's actually very true. Whoop. Let's, uh... See you, buddy. <laughs> if I don't need to do one of these at a time, but I should be okay. All what's right. a what? Uh, I didn't say what's a. I don't think I said what's a. Did I say what's a? You um, said let, let. You said let's a. Oh, oh, let's grab all the upgrades. I, I got those two speed upgrades too. Okay. You'll never find me. Oh, I'm not gonna even try. I'm just bringing them here <laughs> back to the house. Um, is there a chest up here? Nope. It's gonna. Actually, yeah. There's this workbench right here. In the workbench, as soon as you come out, there's the things you need. Okay. I'm. You have to. Make... You have to set them beside oh, God, it. Oh, God, you can oh, set God. them under it. I did that too fast. So you set them the left, the right, underneath. Or whatever, but don't put them in the area it's going to quarry. We probably don't need gravel either, right? We have no. plenty. No, I definitely don't need gravel. Yes, we definitely need.
I just gotta let this chest fill up. It's basically getting netherrack and um fucking uh shit. Yeah, fucking shit. <laughs> um, get netherrack and that sand stuff. Like the main pieces that it's getting. Yeah, that's it's kind of like the other thing here. It says the same thing. It's like constantly stoned, basically. Constantly stoned. <laughs> so hot. Uh... I just need to wait for it for a while. So while while this is like collecting, it's basically it's trashing most of the stuff, and then the other right. stuff I will come. Oh, ooh. really excited! <laughs> I like it. Like it like that. Let's see. Do do do. Conductance. Is that what I'm doing? Conductance. Dang, I only got one. Electrum. And so you got the upgrades over here somewhere. They're in that uh, chest as you come out. Not chest, you know. Oh, they're as soon as it's right by the nether portal. Yeah. Not right by the nether portal. Yeah, as soon as you come out of the nether portal. Oh, you put a crafting station. Yeah, because it wasn't the chest. I see. And so it's end of course. Oh, only the speed two upgrade. <laughs> you need both those. You got to have speed one as well. But there's a speed three upgrade. Yeah, I know, but we can't. There's not. A, if you want to have the silk touch, if you you'd have to. You can't have the tesseract sitting right there. Then, I guess you could put the tesseract. Well, no. See, the problem is they have to touch the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, so you have to pick and choose what you want. And underneath is counting as touching. Wait, in front of is not counting as touching, though. Right, but if you have it in front of it, it's going to mine it. Right, that's what I said it's not counted as touching. Well, I guess it is counted as touching for a minute. Yeah, until it eats it. Jesus Christ, quit blowing uppy. Uppy. Uh, well, I put this. Can you tell if it's actually interacting with the quarry? Like the silk touch one? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the answer to this question. Uh, is there any way to verify its workingness? I don't know how this works. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, because you're in the Nether, what are you getting? Yeah, no, I don't really know. Because I got them all touching it now, but I have no idea if it's really helping. Whoa, I, I mean, speed speed is definitely working. Because <laughs> like it, it's going pretty damn fast. I do like the thing in Crack Pack that it gives you, uh, if I use, like, a cache and I have an empty one, it moves it to the front. What now? Um, so if I have uh, like five caches in my inventory, and I used one, oh, and oh right, it, it'll right. move the other one to that slot, so I can just keep God, placing. I, I I literally hate that the most. Oh, really? I, yes, it's I my like least it. favorite of the things. <laughs> I, I like I like it. Uh, that's... How do you know when you're done? Normally, I get really sleepy after. <laughs> And, and want a sandwich? Yeah. Uh, that's a dumb idea. Why did I do that? Building this cache is gonna be annoying as hell. Um, I'm sorry. Like really annoying. <laughs> Filling this cache is that what you said? Yes. Yeah, do it the first time was annoying for like it. It is. You're right. Because um, now I'm like, which one did I fill already? Did I use that one? Did I not use that one? Place them. Just place them. So that way you can you don't have to worry about it too much. You know? Like just place them oh. down and that way you can look at them and know. Just know. You know? Know if it's done. Like sulfur. I already got the sulfur in there. Ardite. Ardite I know I don't have. 
but bloop, now we got our night. I'm like silver. There we go. Nether quartz. I already sent nether quartz, but I know I didn't. Hmm. Cobalt. I already sent cobalt back to you. Are you sending caches through? Not yet. Um... I'm letting it all collect so I can just keep getting more blocks and knowing. I think I got pretty much all the major stuff. I mean, if I forgot one or two, it's still going to go through the system. It's just not going to get hit by a cache, right? Right. I'm going to destroy Flint just so you know as well. But I don't think we need it. Unless you think we need it for some reason. What are you destroying? Flint. Oh, yeah. Flint, Michigan. Yeah, Flint, Michigan. I mean, they're destroying themselves, so. What the hell is this? Doubling up on gravel. You get in here. Boom. Okay. And now, now I'm going to turn, turn you on. Boop. Send it, my friend. <laughs> Send it off. Nether coal. <laughs> Nether coal. There we go. So now you're you're gonna have cash is about to be rolling through to you. Okay. I see the cobalt one so far. Yeah, I sent that one through earlier, and then I turned it off because I realized I needed to let things collect. Now I got more coming. There, got. And now the question is: Is it too fast? Do I need to slow this thing down, turn it off, so we can actually get the caches set up? Uh, yeah, we might need to. Um... Okay, I'm gonna yeah. stop it from sending um, until the we caches get the caches come through yet. But <laughs> they've definitely left this system, right? Look Are they trying to go to a furnace? Oh, so how do... Is it all about, like, whitelists and stuff to get everything going to a furnace if it can go to a furnace versus... Right. It is. is that what it's all about? Yeah, like, I'll show you how I did this one um, now. I was trying to set it up in the crack pack, man, and it was a lot more complicated than I realized. <laughs> I also don't have the servos that can do um, as big of a whitelist either. Yeah, that makes a difference, too, for sure. Um, so what I did here, I mean, you, you, when you come back through, I'll show you how I did it here. Yeah, course, I'm back. But, I'm back through now. Okay. Um, so uh, up here, basically, I've got it separated by what we want to do. So all these are the ores that we want to process, and uh -huh. so I use caches. So the only place they can go is in here. So as it comes mm -hmm. out of the tesseract, if it has a home, it's going to go to that home. So if it's any of these ores, it's going to go in there, um, and then the all of these caches only connect to pulverizers. Ah, um, so that's the only place they can go, and then, uh, and then as it comes around, we have the. Uh, well, there's. Why are these? These are new. Oh wait, no, here you go. This how we go through. Um, and then around around here, you have the diamond, and the diamond can is handled differently, just because that's you know how it how it how it how it be. <laughs> The um, same thing with uh, so actually with these, hmm, we're gonna want to do this a little differently because with. With all of these things, whenever we, I think whenever we, I don't know what happens. The thing is, if you like, I don't know us. what what these caches that I just got. I don't know which ones go to a pulverizer. Yeah, <laughs> or do they all <clears throat> like the Nether tin ore. Let's, I wish we had some of it. Let's hey, let's just set them down on here first off. Just give everything a home. Um, so. Give ourselves some more room too. Yeah, I'm stuck on the wall. It might be easier. Um, oh man, we're out of time. Jesus, we went 30 minutes here. 
Um, so I guess we'll set this up. We'll be back with you guys uh, momentarily. And hopefully it'll be a nice setup. See ya. Bye.